Soylin Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is planets that may have contained water. So uh, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So in order for you to have liquid water, you have to keep it at the right temperature. Otherwise it becomes vapor or it becomes ice if it gets too cold. Um, now at a first glance, let's look at the planets that could have possibly had water on the surface. Obviously this excludes the outer planets as they're made out of gases and is uh, hydrogen, helium and so forth. So let's look at the inner planets and see which ones of them could have actually contained water. So Mercury at a first glance is no, because like you're so close to the sun, um, the temperatures definitely exceed 100 degrees Celsius, which is the boiling temperature. So uh, surprisingly, we actually found a little bit of icy water and that, had, that had, was found in the crater, in the crater like sort of at the pole of Mercury. So because the, the pole is not directly exposed to the sunlight and the crater sort of acts as, like as a shield from the direct sunlight, uh, some of the ice seems to have been trapped, but it's very, 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 there's almost nothing. So craters may have contained water at some point or like keep the water from boiling away. Now Venus. Venus was for a long time supposed to be the sister of planet Earth. It's this, kind of the same in size. It has clouds, it has weather. Um, but it turns out that the greenhouse effect of Venus is so extreme that it keeps the planet at 400 degrees Celsius, which means that any possible water that there could have been has been boiled away. And we actually can see about 0.002% of vapor in the clouds of Venus. Now, was there uh, liquid water once and then throughout the greenhouse effect it all vapor away, vaporized away? Uh, I mean, definitely it could be a possibility, but no solid, there's no solid proof that any of these planets have had liquid water. Now, as for Mars, Mars can only host water in two forms. Vapor, which has a little bit of vapor in the atmosphere, uh, and then the other one is ice, and the Martian polar caps contain a little bit of ice. But again, there is no hard evidence that any of these planets actually contain liquid water. Now, um, last year, they, they've been working a lot in the extrasolar planets. We have about 700, uh, 700 extrasolar planets. It turns out that five of those seem to have a good uh, fingerprint for water. So if we don't know much about it yet. I mean, this was kind of released in 2013, so not much information has come back and there's a lot of studying that needs to be done on the surface to see if this actually does have water or could have contained water. But geologically speaking and from some of the spectroscopic that's been done on the planet, it seems like there might be a possibility that five of these may have contained water or contained And this is kind of the summary of the planets that may or may not have water. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is planets that may have contained water.